everybody I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season and today I wanted to share with you my December favorites these are products that I've been finding myself reaching for a lot this past month and I'm going to start out with um, the foundation I've been using a lot uh, this is by it cosmetics and it is the celebration foundation in fair and you can see I put a dent in part of it it's hard to put much of a dent in it because not much comes off on your brush because it doesn't take much to cover. And the brush that you use with this is this Heavenly Luxe brush. It's a very soft but very densely packed brush. It's extremely soft and you just swirl this around in here and then you swirl it on your face. And it covers very, very well. And I do have another video, actually two videos on this foundation. If you're interested you can check those out and the other foundation I've been finding myself using a lot is my Revlon color stay and this is in ivory 110 ivory and this one stays on really well it covers has very good coverage good staying power and I really do like this and I know a lot of people said this is actually one of the best foundations out there for a concealer, I've been trying to use up some of my old stuff, and I've been having to use this with a concealer brush, but it's a CoverGirl cover stick, and as you can see, I put a pretty big dent in this. And I use brushes to get down into my lipsticks and into my concealers just because I don't want to waste any product. So I've been using my concealer brush to get down here and try to use this up. And this has actually really good coverage. It can be a little cakey if you're not careful with it. If you apply it lightly, it does work pretty well. The powder I've been using to set my makeup with is by Hard Candy. And it's the Welcome Matte Mattifying Powder. And it's translucent. And I think I may have mentioned this one last month. Some of these may be repeats. But it just has the Hard Candy Heart in there. And then there, you lift uh, this up, and there's a mirror up under here, and then a heart sponge. And what I do is I just take the powder and get some on my puff, and then I just press it into my skin. And then when I'm finished, I take a big fluffy brush and knock off any excess powder. And that seems to work really well. It doesn't move your foundation around. It just leaves it where it's at and just really sets it. The blush I've been reaching for is the Milani Bake Blush in Berry Amore. And it looks like this. And it, it's kind of a pink with some gold in there. It's not a real shimmery blush. It's not as shimmery as it looks. You can see it right there on my finger. I'll put some on my hand. It's almost a brownish pink color. It's right there. And this blush is really nice and I've been using it with my Mary Kay blush brush because I found that this is the perfect size because I put it on here and I press into it like that and lift up. I've got plenty of blush on my brush but it just fits perfectly so I use this blush for that and it gets I don't get too much blush by doing just pressing it into it like that I get just the right amount of blush on there and it does stay well um, it stays all day and I've been real pleased with this for eyes I've been using my hard candy naturally gorgeous palette and it has 10 colors these two right here the light ones are really kind of chalky this golden color is my favorite and I use like to use this one and this one in combination to make kind of a smoky golden eye and if you'd like to see a tutorial on that let me know and I'll show you I'll do that for you but I've been enjoying these they don't crease even without a primer, I haven't had problems with these creasing at all. The other eyeshadow palette I've been using a lot 
is the Nude Tude palette. And mine has the pinup girls in it. And I've been using this a lot. Mostly the lighter colors. I don't think I've actually gotten into the dark colors yet too much other than like I know I have a use of black, but I've been using mostly the medium tones and the really light tones. And I love this buttery yellow color. But these are really nice. You barely have to touch your brush into these to get really good pigmentation. Um, these are awesome eyeshadows. It a little goes a long way on these. And these are absolutely fabulous. If you don't use a primer though, they do tend to crease, is what I found. Then I've been using my e.l.f. Wet Gloss Lash and Brow Clear Mascara. And as you can see, I'm pretty much empty over here in the brow side. And I'm going to start on this side soon. But basically, you just take it and you go over your eyebrow. And it sets your eyebrow in place. And if you're like me and have... A lot of eyebrows and don't have to fill them in. This is really nice because it does give you a nice polished look with it. And it just sets them. And another thing you can do with this is if you have like a flyaway on your in your hair, you can take the clear gloss and actually put it on your hair and it will make that flyaway lay down. The mascara I've been using a lot is this One by One Volume Express by Maybelline. And it's a good base coat. And I don't like the spidery lashes too much for myself. I like to just have a nice color um, to my lashes. Today I am really didn't put much makeup on. But this one by one mascara stays on well. It doesn't seem to flake. And it goes on nicely and smoothly. Then for lips, I've been... For the Christmas season, I found myself using two things. One of them is Revlon Lip Butter in Red Velvet. And it's a very deep red. And there's a swatch of it. And I really do like this. It's creamy, it stays on well, and it just looks beautiful. And then to top that off, I've been using this little Estee Lauder, it's called Gam Garnet Desire Shimmer Lip Gloss that my mom gave me and it's just a nice red color lip gloss and I've been using that on top and that just gives it a little shine and just gives it a little extra pop. And then also one other thing, this last two things that I've been using for my eyes is for the inner uh, tear duct, I've been using this brush, which is actually a smudge brush from Sally's. You can see it's very small at the tip. And I've been using this pearl matte eyeshadow from e.l.f. And it's just a matte pearl. There's no shimmer or anything in it. But I've been using this and I just dip my brush in there I just dip my brush knock off a little bit of excess and then I'm able to actually get right around just the tear duct and then I just kind of press it in to make it kind of blend in and it really makes your eyes stand out so those are my December 2012 favorites and I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you have a wonderful holiday season and I will see you in my next video Bye.